boys and girls. Gather around, for I have a tale to tell. It's a tale about a gift that keeps on giving. A gift that you can open every day. And it's not a box of chocolates, silly. No, the gift I'm talking about is something much more valuable. I'm sure you're all trying to guess what it is, right? Well, it is the gift of books. Good morning, everyone. My name is Advika Tripathi and I'm nine years old. When I was four, my father gave me some bagels to wear. It blended with my skin color. I told him that it was camouflaged. Now, my father here got confused and surprised as he thought that camouflage meant the army uniform, which blended in with its surroundings. I told him camouflage is real meaning and he acknowledged me for my vocabulary. I do not remember this, but he still does to this very day. I got this vocabulary from books. When I was younger, there were many books at our house, so I had no choice but reading them. And soon, I fell in love with books. One day, as I was talking with my friends, I realized that since all of my friends are bookworms just like me, why can't I host a book club? And that's how the Blossom Book Club was made. I made a card on Canva, pulled my family on names, and contacted my friends to join. But I made a small mistake. I didn't know that my friends were playing at the playground at 6 o'clock, the time I was going to host the meeting. As you may have guessed, no one joined. The next day, I asked them if they could join for the next book club, but most of them had plans to go outside and so politely said no. Only my friend Prisha was free. We had lots of fun, we laughed and joked about, and even my mother was sitting nearby was laughing. The next week, more of my friends were free and joined. And believe me, they have reason to love books. Books are like a treasure trove of knowledge and imagination. You can travel to far off lands, meet new people, learn new cultures, and taste scrumptious food. That too, within the comfort of your own home. And you know, there are many benefits that are even proven by scientists, like reducing stress by 68%, aiding in sleep, improves brain connectivity, fights depressant symptoms, and even prevents Alzheimer's. But that's not all. It improves your critical thinking and expands your horizons and so on. And let's face it, parents love it when their kids prefer books to cartoons. And you know the best part? You can do it every day, be it sunny or rainy, winter or spring, with a good book in hand, you can escape your own troubles and enter a world of wonder, any world of your choice. And yes, with this key, you can even enter the world of Dr. Strange, if you wish. Now, let me tell you the story of stories, which has originated in Africa. Well, have you all heard about Anansi? Well, Anansi the spider was a trickster. He could trick anyone he met and could weave words as well as webs and knew that there was something missing from the world. Do you know what? Stories. Not the trickster stories full of sly lies and clever deceits, but stories to be told at bedtime. Stories to keep darkness at bay. And the Nazi here knew very well where all the stories were packed up and kept. In a box, with the sky god Niam, who guarded it as life. Many tried to get it, but all failed. But the Nazi here was special. He was smart, clever. He made the strongest and longest web he could and climbed it to the sky god's home. Then he demanded his price for the box. When Niam saw that a tiny little spider was demanding for his great box of stories, his whole body shook with laughter. But then he saw that Anansi was determined. 
Then he thought of such an impossible request that would make him accept defeat at once. After thinking, he told the Nanshi to capture Ununi, the python, who was so long and strong he could cling around the giant and kill him. A sailed board, the leopard, whose claws were as sharp and hard as uncut diamonds. Mabovo, the hornet, whose things burned as hot as the sun. And last but not the least, the scariest of them all, the evil invisible spirit, was feared by all of Africa, Mamoltia. But, to Niam's surprise, Anansi captured them all. The great Niam was shocked when a tiny little spider captured such scary creatures which even mighty men feared. But, Niam was a man of his word. He gave Anansi the box of stories. When Anansi finally got the chance to open the box, he observed it. It was an ordinary looking wooden one. But then he thought of what wonders may lie inside. Then he unclicked the rusty bolts. And out came the stories, filling the air with its hum into the ears of man, only to be passed down to another's ears. Anansi had changed the world. He had given it stories. So, my friends, let us not let Anansi's efforts go to waste. So, young or old, girl or boy, alien or human, or even none of the above, I urge you, open a book today and see where it takes you. Who knows? You might just find out something amazing. Thank you for that.